Good morning. I have been up for a very long time. For some reason, I woke up and I couldn't get back to sleep, so I was out of bed before four o'clock in the morning. Two early mornings in a row. And remarkably, I don't really feel all that tired. A little weary, not really all that tired. But anyways, I am waiting for yesterday's video from Fort Farms to get done and so that I can publish it. And that's kind of what I'm waiting for. I'm enjoying a cup of coffee while I'm waiting. And I am going to have one of my muffins. This is a banana zucchini muffin, paleo style. This is made from nut flour. So there's very little carbohydrates in it. And it's very nutritional because it has all the goodness of almonds and the vegetable of zucchini plus the banana and egg. And it is just a very healthy um, little breakfast muffin. And it doesn't have to be just for breakfast. It's actually quite good all the time. But anyways, I usually try to make up a couple dozen of these and then I will put them in Ziploc freezer bags like four because it's just me and my husband here in in a, each in a bag and that way I can just pull them out of the freezer as I want them and I am down to only four left four muffins one bag so I'm gonna have to be making these really soon and uh, but otherwise today is a totally free day for me I have nothing that is pressing that I have to do, um, other than probably my laundry. But even that, I mean, it's not like somebody's forcing me to do it. I just need to do it so that I can have clean clothes. That's always nice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But anyways, um, my girls are a little bit confused because they had breakfast at four in the morning. And they are like, I think, wondering, why isn't the sun up? <laughs> it's, 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 as you can see, it's just now starting to. Right now, it's, it's 8 o'clock. And so the sun is up, but it is a rainy, wet, cloudy morning. And earlier, the thunder was going, and I had three dogs just quivering and a shaking and all of them surrounded me on the couch as I tried to with two hands be able to touch all three at the same time so that they had the reassurance that everything was okay but luckily that didn't last very long and it wasn't really loud just loud enough for the dogs really to be able to you know be bothered by it and then I just got a call from my husband he is he says well I'm on my way home from Buffalo okay so he went to Ridgefield last night, and from Ridgefield they sent him to Buffalo, and now to Buffalo back to Erie. So he'll be in later than usual. He's usually in way before this. So anyways, I will talk to you later throughout my day. As I said, I'm really clueless. Lots of things I can do, lots of things I don't want to do. <laughs> I'm just going to take it easy and enjoy my day. I hope you enjoy yours too. See you in a little bit. Well, here we are. I am actually heading to Walmart because I need to buy the ingredients in order to make my laundry detergent. Yeah, I make my own. I find it works a lot better. My clothes seem to look cleaner, they seem to smell better, and I don't have any of the chemicals or anything then going into our skin or into our septic for that matter. But anyways, um, I thought you'd like to come with me. Talk to you in a minute. Okay, here we are. Sorry if I'm a mess. It was really wet and yucky out there, but here we are. This is what we're looking at. The Fels Napta, the Super Washing Soda, the Borax, and the Pure Baking Soda. So as you can see, Fels Napta is only 97 cents, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna buy four. You only need one per 
recipe. I'm going to double my recipe today. So I'm going to buy two of the washing sodas. They are $2.24 each. And I am going to buy two. I'm sorry, this is a baking soda. Sorry, that's the baking soda. This is the washing soda. Buy two of those today. And then I am going to buy two of the Borax. And that is basically all I need, but one other thing I'm gonna get. That is the Zot soap. This is also only 97 cents, and I'm gonna buy two of them. And the only reason I buy this is some people don't use Felsnapta, and some people don't use the Zot. I use both. Um, this stuff smells incredibly wonderful. That's why I, do, I buy it. Okay, well here we are. I'm gonna show you how I make my laundry detergent. Now, I make a whole lot all at once. You don't have to do that. Um, I will put the original recipe down below and then I will put down the quantities that I use because it, the original one just calls for like two and three quarters cup washing soda. I'm using boxes, so I use two boxes of washing soda and I use two boxes of the bor borax and I use four cups baking soda okay then what I do is I dump that all in, the, in a bag like you see here and the reason I do this is just easier to mix because I am making so much it's just easier for me to mix because I can literally twist tie that bag and I can turn it upside down and I can knead it and I can move it all around, which really makes it mix well. So instead of getting my hands in there because this soap and everything is going to dry your hands right out. Anyways, the Fels Napta soap and the Zot soap. This is the Fels Napta and this is the Zot. One bar, one bar. It, you can like... Um, these are actually equal, even though this one's so much smaller, this one's that much more powerful. But this one smells wonderful. This is going to be, why, why I use this one, you don't have to, but I use this one because this is gonna get out any grease. Um, this removes oils. This is the type of soap that if your children get poison ivy, you can wash them in this. It's a strong detergent, but you can wash them in this, rinse them off nice and well, and you can know that you've got that poison ivy oil off their skin, okay? But yeah, this is, this is going to get my husband's greasy clothes clean. And even like grease from the stove that can splash, this would not do it. Um, so I am going to use actually four bars of Fels Napta and two bars of Zote Soap and I'm combining them because I like the smell of this and these four bars here is plenty to be able to get the grease and all that out. And literally, you grate it. And yeah, that can take a little bit of time. But that's why I make so much at once because the last time I made it, I made only one box of everything and it lasted me, I think, nearly five or six months. So I'm figuring this should last me nearly a year, and I only have to do it once. So that's why I'm going there. And the other thing I did is I went out and got myself a handy-dandy garbage pail. Yeah, that's what I use for my, to put my detergent in. And I still have a little bit of it left. Basically, um, it just, it just looks like that. I mean, it just looks like like powdered laundry detergent. And this cup, this, I don't even know where I got it. Probably from an old detergent. <laughs> and actually, that is a lot more than what you need in a load. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start grading this. And I will, um, I'll get back to you. So you can tell, it's going to take me a little bit of time. Okay, that took me exactly five minutes to grate one bar of soap. So it really doesn't take that long, but I want to tell you what I do. 
I have this little chopper here. Now, a lot of people will use their food processors. I've never owned one, and at this point in my life, I'm not planning on owning one. But what I do is this is what the Fells naphtha looks like after it's been grated just with this. I want it to be a little bit more of a powder uh, form. So what I do is I put a little bit of my washing soda with some Fells naphtha and I just turn this on and I figured this thing cost me $10 so you know what? If I ruin it, it really doesn't make a difference, but I'll bring this over here and I'll show you the difference. See how it's more like a powder? It's just really a lot finer than this. So all I did was literally, and I'll push this back out of the way so you can see, I just put a little bit of washing soda in the bottom then I just take my braided Fells naphtha and put it in there, like such. Not no science to this, just literally put it on and that's all I do. I just let it do that for, for a couple of minutes, if that, I doubt it. It's probably not even one minute that I'm going to have this on here. And I just mix it up. Now I will add a little bit more baking soda, or I'm sorry, washing up soda, and the rest of my bar of Phil's naphtha. And like I said, there is no exact science. You really can't. It's not like food that you need to have exact measurements. And I just do it again. And what was just kind of stringy, as you can see here, just kind of like little little strings is now a nice powder. Push this back over so hopefully you can see that it's it's just like a powder. Okay, I got them all grated and this is the last little bit that I have to put in here and one thing I did neglect to tell you is that when I put the, the borax and the washing soda in here. I kept one box of the washing soda in the box. And that's what I used to add to this as I would finish up the soap and try to grate it smaller. So uh, don't put all, all the boxes in there because otherwise you, you really can't grate this up. It'll just the soap will just gum up your blades. You, you, even if you use a food processor or a blender or whatever, you have to put some of the washing soda in there in order to not have it gum up. But anyways, all I'm going to do actually is just um, mix this around. I'm just going to knead this around and try to get this work together a little bit. It only takes five minutes to do this. Okay, here we are. It's all done. I have my detergent in my bucket. As you can see, it's a nice powder. And this particular cup, I did measure it. This is a half cup measure. You'll only need a quarter of a cup per large load of laundry. Now, ours is an extra large capacity load, um, washer. So I will, when I'm washing my husband's, um, his uniforms for work, I will use a half a cup many times because his are just greasy and awful. But normally, you would not need to use that much. Um, the one thing I do want to tell you is that because this is a powder, it needs to dissolve. And if you are washing solely in cold water, this is not going to dissolve well to wash your clothes. So what I do is I will put my detergent in, in my machine, turn it to hot water for like 15 seconds or so until that bottom part just kind of can dissolve that. I kind of swish my hand around at the bottom and then I just flip it back to either warm or cold, whatever it is I'm doing. Another thing you can do if you're using just cold water is you can put 
um, the detergent in like a little bowl, add some hot water to the bowl, mix it just real quickly to let it dissolve and then just add it to your cold water. It just needs to be dissolved in order to work well. This serves mine and my husband's purpose, what our needs are really well. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions, again, you can just put it in the comments and I will make sure that I will look at the comments and I will get back to you about it. And I hope you enjoyed this because I really, I really like this detergent. It does well by me. I like the way my clothes smell. I, I like the way it treats my better clothes. Um, I just all around have been very happy with it. I know there is one other thing that um, I had read online that some people will use a bar of ivory soap instead of the felsnaphtha or the zote. Um, I think maybe for if you were using it for a baby, that would be ideal. I know you're not supposed to use the borax at all if it's talking about an infant. I think once they get to like a toddler stage, like year and a half, two, I think that borax, even then you're going to want to cut that back because that can be a little harsh. But um, I, I can't imagine why you'd want to use ivory soap for your own. But I don't, I don't know if that would get really all that clean. I don't know. But I do know it's a choice. So that's why I thought I'd let you know. Anyways, I'll talk to you later tonight. Hi. I hope everybody had a really nice day. Um, today here was completely overcast, drizzling almost the whole day, um, chilly and just very damp and not very pleasant out at all. But yesterday was the perfect fall day, the absolutely perfect, the bright sunshine, the lovely weather. It was just perfect all around. But that being said, it kind of reminded me of something that I read in a lady's devotional recently. And that was that lots of times we tend to want to um, wish away certain things in our life. Kind of like if you've heard people say, oh, I can't wait till it's spring, or I can't wait till I accomplish that goal, or oh, if only I could get that job. Well, you know, there's, there's so many things that people say, oh, I can't wait till things get easier, or I can't wait until my children are, go to school. If there just seems to be always something that people are looking to and they forget to look at the right now because even right now is a blessing and we often forget that we often just want to always skip ahead to what we think is going to be bigger or better and often if you know we can wish our whole life away so I, I just kind of wanted to leave you with that and to remind you of something that Paul wrote to the Philippian uh, people. And we find it in chapter one of Philippians and it's verse three. And he says, I thank God upon my every remembrance of you. And I think that that is something that we need to keep in mind, not just with people, but even in the situations and the circumstances that God has allowed into our lives daily. And that isn't easy. Sometimes that is very hard. But before I end, the other thing I wanted to say is, he says in chapter three, verse one, finally, brethren, Rejoice in the Lord. And that's exactly what we need to do. Rejoice in the Lord. Because when we're in the Lord, we are able to find the joy that look beyond the circumstances and the problems. Always remember that. 
That's just a little thought I wanted to leave you with. And as always, life happens. Enjoy it. And don't forget to love and to laugh every day. Talk to you tomorrow and God bless.